about to get underway here for race two at the Glen Watkins circuit. It is Edge on the front row. And uh, I don't know how this is going to... Well, it says the big trunk is in P1, but... Well, we'll just see how this goes. Either way, it's KFC Edge versus Withers here in what is sure to be a interesting race. Reverse grid. Reverse grids are always a good fun to watch. Here we go. The Glen Watkins Race 2 is underway. It's actually a pretty decent start from Edge, but everyone else, it's like four or five wide at the moment. It's basically six wide between Calbo's gone off. Oh no, and there's chaos already, but it's not as bad. Penske's around, and that's a big one. That's a big one. But everyone might be okay, I don't know. Will that be cause for, well, Max is stuck. Max is stuck. The big chungus is going to try and help him. There we go. <laughs> wow, that was a wild start there. Oh, someone's gone. It's Withers. Withers has gone off there. He's come back on circuit. And who's your leader at the moment? Well, it's going to be a battle between Top Banter and Edge. And oh my goodness me, they're going to kill each other before to get the lead here on lap one. Top Banter's trying to kill Edge. But Edge killed himself anyway. Edge goes off. And Edge waiting for Auto Club next week. <laughs> and now Freddy might try to take the lead here at the moment. Yeah, Freddy's going to try and take the lead. And he will take the lead. Freddy leads. Lap one here at the Glen Watkins. As now Burke looks for the move here on Zombie and gets it done. And Freddie, your race leader now here at the Glen Watkins at the moment. Dylan P3, Burke trying to move his way up through the field. Trying to get a good s s start here at the moment and pull away from Ryan and Jared at the front of the pack. And Burke now through to position number three. He's got two cars separating him and Jared. And Jared now looks for it on Zombie. He gets it done, and Ryan's going to try and join him if he can. I don't think he will, unless he sends it here at the next corner coming up. And Burke is close to go for it here on top banter as well. Full position, Dill goes off, Zombie goes off. In tandem, basically, those two going off circuit there. Oh, that's a big one! Top banter's gone around. And he's, Ryan's come back on and hit him. Rain was in the pit lane. A couple of cars were in the pit lane, as you saw, as Withersdale goes for the move here on Ryan. So, boy, chaos here at the moment. And it's almost free wide. Rain, who's now a lap down. And he most likely got caught up in that early incident in this race. As now, Jared is all over Burke here. So, unless Burke got involved as Jared now goes for it, side by side, these two will go. This is for the lead, by the way. So, we've missed a lot here. <laughs> we've missed a lot. This is Burke going for the lead. It's free wide between these guys. Between Burke, Jared, and Ryan. Oh, sorry, Ryan. Freddy. Burke, Jared, and Freddy. So, that's, what, that's what's happened there. And then Jared's obviously got the run on him and uh, gone for the move. As uh, so we see Ryan now looking for the move here on Calbo. And he gets it done. So Ryan now up in a position number six in this race. Meanwhile, Burke and Freddie go side by side. Side by side, these two will go. And it's still not enough. Burke still can't get this move done on Freddy at the moment. This is allowing Jared to pull away in the lead. There are still mandatory stops to come in this race for a few of these drivers. And if you get to pit, we see Petsky in the background go for a move on Winners, but we see Burke trying to go for a done. It's free wide between Calvo, Winners, and Petsky. If you all remember Detroit, those three were right near each other for quite a bit in Detroit. And 
and cause some chaos between the three of them. Could it happen here again? Penske P7 now in this race. As we now see, oh my goodness, what has happened to Burke? Oh, they've got side by side Burke and Freddy. What's their contact? I can't tell. And then Burke in the wall. Burke now trying to see if he can muster a move here. But now here comes Ryan now to go for it on his teammate. My voice is gone, everybody. It's now Ryan gets it done. Ryan now up in a position number four in this race. Still, still doing very nicely in P5 right now. Still doing a great job. So still in P3, not P5. For God's sake, as Freddie had a bit of a slide up ahead, and this could allow Dill to close it on him here. We'll have to wait and see. As we see Ryan now going for the move here on Dill. Dill just let him through. Who's that that's gone off? Oh, it's Zombie. Zombie goes off there. And uh, there we go. And now Ryan's going to try to close up here on Freddy for position. Can he get this done? Meanwhile, Dill and Burke going at it as well, side by side. Petsky and Zombie, who are sure going to cause a, a big chungus at some point. If these two come collisions like we saw in Spa. But uh, Ryan now just trying to get this move done here on Freddy. Freddy defends. And Ryan has to do it the hard way. But he, if he can get it perfectly done here, he sh it should be the easy way for him. It's going to be the easy way. And he's got it done. Ryan, beautiful move on Freddy. And that's definitely a Bunnings trade. Power pass, power play, pass, power play, play, play. Right, as now Burke looks for it here on... F no. Burke just can't get by him at the moment. Just can't get by. Oh, man, it's close here at the moment between these guys. Trying to find something if they possibly can. In this one, as now... Burke looks here on Freddy. Has he finally got it done? Oh, he hasn't. There might have been a little bit of contact. Oh, Freddy's just gone. Freddy's gone. In the wall. See if there was any contact between the two. Well, this will give a good angle. Well, there was... There might have been a slight touch there. Might have been a slight touch. Zombie comes into the lane as we... Oh, what's happened to Pensk? Oh, let me scroll up here. There he is. Side by side. And, oh, that's, no, that's Penske making the move on Dill. Oi, there he goes. Big slide, big slide. He holds onto it. And he's still going. It's like that, it was like Kyle Bush and Marcus Ambrose all over again. As Penske's now all, the, he's even further back. Oh, and he's in the wall. And Max is... Oh my goodness me, let's let's take a look back on that one. Side by side, these two go. Oh, Max has just had a moment and went into him. Let's go through the field, he's Edge and Max mate. Edge is a lap down. And that's ugly. <laughs> the trees were covering up the, the ugliness of that. And honestly, 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 I don't blame Max for doing that. <laughs> I think any driver in this league, if Edge did that to you and it was a lap down, I mean, there's no rules for him letting people by. He doesn't have to let, it's bare to cars, but still, when you're lap down and you're defending like he was, I think anybody would have sent um, him like that. I think everybody would have done it. We're going to see if anything goes down between these three here at the moment. Calbo holding on at the moment. Penske here at the moment. Roscoe comes into the lane. I think again. I see how Penske looks for the move here on Calbo. Looks for it and he's going to get it done. Penske up into position number six. Someone's had a big, big moment. 
I don't know who it was. We saw a bit of smoke there. Could have maybe been top banter. And Jared doing very nicely in this race so far. Let's try to go through the field. Look at this pack. Oh, and Penske, big slide. He's going to be around. Oh, and Calvo slides as well. And Zombie gets two positions out of that, or probably only one. Wow, we and Calvo comes into the lane. No, Calvo is around in the lane. <laughs> and as I say again, join us next week for what is sure to be an interesting one. It will be Auto Club. The ovals are back. And what will happen when we go racing at the ovals? It's going to be absolutely chaotic. There's Ryan. He should be in this lap. I see pits on the final lap. No, he comes into the lane. And Ryan comes in for his mandatory stop. Ryan will come out behind, ahead of his teammate. He'll come out behind DRC Jared. And there we go. That's how things stay. With three laps to go here in bed to cars. It's going to be Jared who's going to take victory here. Had to go through some stuff here in this one, but has done it very nicely. Jared will win race two, the final race here at the Glen Watkins circuit. He gets it done very nicely. As we're going to quickly scroll through here and see, yep, Edge has gone off, and Calbo's gotten done here on top beta. He's gotten it done. Does Toppy try to look for it back here on him? Very close between these two, unless Calbo was already ahead of him, and I'm an idiot. That's my tired brain working in motion there at the moment, folks. <laughs> oh, and top bear two in the grass. And Calbo's going to hold on to a position number 11. Oh, both of these guys were a lap down. Never mind. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it was a battle for position. Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> Well, folks, that is the Glen Watkins. We are done here for what has been a sensational round here in Banter Cars. It's Jared who finishes in position number one here on the final race of the, of the weekend. Auto Club Speedway next. And then we head to the big one, Bathurst, not too far away. Banter Cars, the championship winding down here on iRacing, the home of the absolute goatiness of sexiness. Auto Club coming up next week. Join us then.